I'm Merlin Tuttle and I'm in a durian orchard in Thailand. This is the king of Southeast Asian fruits, a fruit that is absolutely prized throughout the area, worth billions of dollars a year. And yet I saw something this week that really alarmed me. Just a short distance from this durian orchard was an orchard of longan fruit and the farmer there had put up 40 foot long mist nets that are used to catch bats a whole string of them and they were full of dead and dying bats that had been attracted to his longan fruit but in they had ended up caught in the net they leave these nets up for five months at a time they only need to be up even if they were trying didn't care about killing bats they don't need to be up for more than a couple weeks but they leave them up for months at a time it's a terrible, gruesome thing where the bats just die of starvation and sunstroke in the nets. The nets stay up until they get so heavy with bats that they just fall down to the ground. Now this is all going on just a very short distance from a park in which there is a cave of fruit and nectar eating bats that are protected in the park. But as soon as they leave the park and come out near a, a, a longan orchard they end up caught in these nets and so many bats are being caught it's very questionable as to whether these uh, uh, bats can survive long term the nets that I saw just two 40 foot nets one had 15 bats and the other one had 17 yet I'm told that there are approximately 20 longan orchards in that area that each have nets put up to kill bats. Most of them don't know any better than to put these mist nets up. The nets only cost about three dollars so the farmer doesn't care if the net just stays up until it falls down full of bats. But this is really a serious threat to the durian growers. These durian fruit are worth far more than any longan fruit is. The longan aren't originally from this area and to grow them here they have to put a lot of chemical fertilizer and chemical pesticides on them water them extra thoroughly there are ways around growing long and fruit without so much problem from bats though recent research in Australia has shown that you can put what's called bird netting over orchards and completely protect them from birds and bats and the fruit actually ripens early, it protects it from hail, and latest research indicates that they need 45% less water in addition. So this is a win-win situation if people just knew to do this instead of killing the bats. As it stands now, the longan growers are a small minority in the area, but they are doing serious harm to the durian growers who need the bats to pollinate their durian flowers. Each flower that, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven durian. Each of those flowers had to be pollinated by a bat in order to produce one of these fruits. And the local growers tell us that in recent years, the durian pollination success has been dropping and they're very concerned about these other growers that are putting up the mist nets and killing bats. And it's not just them. There are some durian growers who actually don't realize that bats pollinate their durian and when the bats come to the flowers at night the flowers drop their petals soon after they're pollinated possibly in part so that newly arriving bats see that the other flowers have already been visited but when the farmers see the petals falling they think that the bats are harming their crop. So in some cases, even the durian growers are killing bats in nets just like the longan growers. This is a very serious problem that threatens the most lucrative crop in all of Southeast Asia, not to mention other crops and the ecology of a whole park nearby. Because as these bats are killed off, they're no longer going to pollinate flowers and disperse seeds even in the park. This is a very serious ecological and economical threat that could be completely solved just by a little bit of education. Bats aren't like rodents that can rear many young in a year. Each pair of bats rears just one to two young per year. 
So this is a very serious threat to them.